Hi everybody, so I'm going to show you how to quickly create some uh, grass blades and put them into a particle system. So start off by deleting the default Cuban camera and adding a plane. This will serve as our grass blade. So I'm just going to go into edit mode and scale it on the uh, Y axis quite a bit. And then with that scale down, I'm, I can just now add, um, you know, a loop over here and I can scale it up. I'm creating a sort of a stylized grass because it's a lot simpler to do than to fiddle around with something more complicated. Uh, I'm just going to, you know, create, give it a bit of uh, shape, make it look a bit more interesting, something like that, for example. Now I'm going to select these two bottom vertices and then I'm going to say cursor to select it. Then I'm going to go into object and set origin to 3D cursor. Now I can duplicate this and then, you know, just create a bit of variation, make it a bit taller. I don't know, uh, whatever whatever you think would look best for your grass. Um, you know, it's, it's very important that you toy around with these settings as much as you can to really get something that that's, uh, sort of helps your mesh out to stand out. You know, make the stylized grass can be very simple to make, but it also can make or break your uh, concept if you're not really careful. Um, so let's just use these four for now. So I'm just gonna put them to one side and I'm going to set the cursor back to world origin and add a new plane. And this is gonna be our particle emitter, so I'm just gonna make this a bit bigger and go into the particle settings and add a particle. Now, because I've got all of these um, meshes over here as my grass blades, I'm gonna select them, press M on the keyboard and then create a new collection, which I will call grass blades. So all of them will move in there. With this particle system, I can change it to hair uh, add, click the advanced tab over here as well, activate rotation, go into a render and select the collection. With that selected, we can now select our grass blades. So this is uh, generating them right now. And it's generating them using the uh, origin, point of origin. So if we select all of these and go into edit mode, uh, we select all the faces for all of them. And if we start rotating them around, you can see how just by rotating them, you can potentially uh, lift them or put them down, as you can see over here. Uh, so but now the origin has also changed for all of them. So you've got to actually go in here and edit the origins again, you know, re, um, making sure that the origin is actually uh, for each of them at the bottom. So, you know, origin to 3D cursor, but then I've got to select this as well and then origin to 3D cursor. Luckily, I've got this um, actually um, binded. So I've got here origin to 3D cursor and I'm just gonna do that again as well, origin to 3D cursor. Right, but they're all at the bottom, unfortunately, which is not exactly what we want. So let's just go into edit mode. This is this is, uh, this is is more complicated than that one. So, um, you know, I'm just gonna make sure that they go this way and I'm just gonna move them like that and now they should be sticking out which they do which is great okay so with them st with these uh, particles now sticking out as they should let's just increase that to about 5000 so we have a lot more but you can see they're all oriented in the same direction so that's not really that's not too good uh, we can go into the rotation here and start playing with the setting like for example changing the phase a little bit and randomizing it which will then rotate these around but they're still not at an angle and there's no sort of um, you know they don't feel like they're alive so we can add a force field like a uh, wind and then we can just push this wind this way which will make our all of our particles sort of uh, face in the direction of the wind so we can do maybe something like that and then we can also add another force field which is a turbulence and we can keyframe its location then move our keyframe to um, to the end so that will be 250 for example sorry 250 and then move this all across for example and now keyframe it um, let's just ensure we select both the keyframes on the timeline right click and interpolation to linear and now when we press play we can see that they are moving but they are the, the turbulence is probably too strong compared to the wind so we can go into our particle settings for the wind increase the um, the strength of it and then press um, you know um, well play around with the settings a bit but just ensure that the turbulence size is higher so maybe something like a seven something like that but then also the strength of it is not probably not as as big so maybe a uh, well 0 0.5 maybe 
something like that. Okay, so now it's all about factoring in the power between the wind and the turbulence to be able to get an even you know better effect or not. Um, what I don't like is the fact that it's also uh, making these grass blades move from the bottom, which is not exactly ideal. Um, so we can sort of select them and just see, you see, the, the problem with these um, is that where, you know, it's, it's where the origin is and the origin just always gets messed up if you're not careful. Um, you know what I mean? So it's not origin to geometry, it's origin to a 3D cursor that we need to aim for. So origin to 3D cursor, you know, and this is, this is the problem really, because if you don't have the origin where it needs to be, then your uh, model is not gonna work out properly. So now you can see what I've done. So it is definitely looking a lot better at this point. Um, we can now go in here and, and play with the wind, maybe not the wind strength, but more like the turbulence. So we can just increase that and you can see what's do what it's doing. And it's not, it's, not, it's not bad. I mean, it does look quite realistic, but we do need a material for our grass. So let's go into the shader editor. Uh, let's have a look at our grass, select one of them. It doesn't really matter which one and add a new material. In here, we can add a color ramp and then also add a gradient texture. Um, and then we select, we, we connect the fa uh, fact of the gradient texture to the color ramp and the color ramp color to the base color. And we also want to change the, um, the colors a bit, let's say a dark green and then a, a light green. Uh, but nothing really happens, so we need to go into shaded mode, which we're, we're now there. We've got the gradient, which is helping pushing this um, sort of gradient from uh, dark color to, to light. So we can add a, a texture map by pressing Control T if you have the Node Wrangler uh, add-on. If not, just bring them in by searching for them. And now we can rotate where the um, you know what, where this gradient is going to show from. So. We may want a minus 90 here, which that did the trick basically. Um, so now if you look, if we increase this, it's gonna go up. Um, and if we do this, then it's gonna go like that down, which is quite nice. Uh, we can also add another intermediate color, maybe like a yellowish color, make it very bright, I don't know. Um, or maybe you know, towards green again, something like that. But now that we have done the material for one of the grass blades, we want to do it for the rest of them. So let's select all the other grass blades and then select, uh, actually no, select the one that has the material first and then all the other ones that don't. Press Control L on the keyboard and select materials. And now all of them have the same material. So you can see what's, what that's done, uh, basically. Um, so now I'm just going to select, I'm going to take out all of these um, sort of settings, you know, like um, all, all of these uh, overlays. So you can see how the grass sort of moves. Uh, we can play with the t with wind, with the turbulence strength if we wanted to, to really give it a, a lot of sort of, you know, as you can see, it, it this is going to can go quite crazy. Now what we're going to do is also into our modifier here, sorry, in our particle settings over here. We can play with the scale randomness. So you get some bigger grass plates and some, and some smaller ones. Let's do a 0 0.2, it's probably too big. So 0 0.1, you can see what's going on. I mean, it, it does look quite nice, uh, I think. It's all about your light, lighting setup and, and what you do with it. So 0 0.07 is probably gonna be about right. Um, you've also got these options over here into the um, uh, physics. So you've got something like a Bronian, which is going to um, cause even more, um, you know, you, you can play around with these settings, but you can get all sorts of crazy effects just by, um, you know, as I said, um, playing around with the, with the options. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys uh, really liked it. And this is how you can quickly make some grass in uh, Blender and put it into motion. Thank you.